Good morning, Sagittarius. Uh, this is going to be your Anything Goes reading. This is your weekly August 31st through the September 6th. For those of you who've been watching my channel, uh, I pretty much call this the Anything Goes reading, with me, which means uh, this can be about career, finances, situations with family, friends, love interests, etc. Uh, so this is the anything goes. Please remember this is a general reading. Timing is fluid and flexible. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. If you'd like to request a personal reading or check out my video playlist link, uh, I will do uh, a drawing every month for two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. I will publish a winner's video the first week of every month. So be sure to turn on your notifications so you can be aware of my upcoming videos. You can check out to see if you are a winner. So if you'd like to enter Sagittarius, good luck and let's get started with your reading. I just pulled one card uh, from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck and we are pulling two cards from the Angel Answer deck. All right, <clears throat> let's get started. Hope everybody's doing well and staying healthy and safe here. All right, so the first card that you have um, is the goddess of sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Okay, Sagittarius, so right now may be a time um, where you are becoming more spiritual or you may be taking some time to yourself to connect okay spiritually with the divine here or some of you uh, may need some time to yourselves okay where you can get away and um, really tap into your inner uh, intuition and also tap into the divine here so um, this is a time when it's good for you to try and gain some balance here um, and really try to connect spiritually. With everything going on in the world right now, it, it can be hard to find that time to take to yourself or that place where things are quiet. You have here compromise, okay? So this tells me um, that things are going to come into balance uh, for you. There may be a situation where you may have to come to some sort of comp compromise with someone. You have here a year from now. So if there is some sort of timing, uh, you have some sort of goal or you have a vision in your head of when something's going to happen, this um, is a message that it can happen between now and a year. Uh, I also get with this message uh, that with everything going on in the world, it can be a message of, uh, you know, when things get back to a, uh, a new normal, okay, I don't know if anything will get back to normal, but a new normal here, I feel here, it's going to happen between now and a year from now, okay. So I feel here this connection here uh, with the divine uh, creating your sacred space. Uh, is going to help bring you some balance into your life, okay? All right, we're going to pull some tarot here. I have uh, the good tarot deck. I will pull some cards, and then we'll, we, we will clarify, okay? All right, let's, let's get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Sagittarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Sagittarius the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right. So let's get uh, some cards here for Sagittarius, August 31st through September 6th. Let's get three cards. All right. We have the Emperor. We have the Nine of Air. We have the Six of Air. The King of Water. 
the four of earth and the four of water. All right, bottom of the deck here, you have the nine of fire. So your energy here, Sagittarius. Okay, so give me just one moment to tap into the energy here. See what we have. Okay, so let's get started here. So we have the Emperor card. And actually, I want to point out we got, um, we have two fours here. We have two nines. Actually, we have three fours here because the emperor is a four. So four, four, four. Okay, so I feel like this is the, this is the energy of stability here. I feel like you're trying to gain some stability and balance in your life right now. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that, morning allergies here. So Emperor and the King of Water. All right, Sagittarius, I feel here you could be dealing with an Aries, all right, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces if there's a specific person in your situation. But what I'm getting here is I feel here, um, Sagittarius, is you are very much um, trying to keep things in order here. I feel like you're trying to be in control of what is going in, on in your life right now. I feel like you're not really sharing a whole lot with the people around you. I feel like you're kind of keeping it to yourself um, because I do see here with the uh, nine of air and the four of earth, I feel like you're trying to main some, uh, trying to gain some balance and stability here, okay? Uh, with the nine of air, I'm also getting here that, you know, I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking in your situation, okay? Whatever you're trying to gain balance with, I feel you're trying to um, gain some stability here. And you may even be holding back um, from a person or a situation here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo, or an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, but I feel like you're really thinking a lot about this situation. I feel like you're not making any sort of moves right now. You're kind of just trying to keep things balanced, trying to keep things stable here. I feel here with this nine of fire here, I feel here this is about you being patient. I feel there's something that you may have started, okay, a goal, or you may have planted some seed or something that you've been working on and i feel here now you're just taking the time being patient here waiting to see um <clears throat> if this is going to pay off here all right so i feel here your hard work your determination um is one what's going to get you through here you have the six of air and you have the four of water all right I feel here you're moving into a place, okay, this actually could be a home move, um, but that's not where I was going. I feel like you're getting to a place or you will feel in a place by the end of next week here where you're going to feel much more calm, much more balanced here, okay. I feel like there may be some uh, sort of offer coming in for you, okay, or you may be making some sort of offer to someone else. Um, but I'm getting here that that either you or this person you're dealing with, somebody here is reluctant to receive an offer, all right? And I get here also this, there could have been some conflict in the situation, okay? But now things are going to a more calmer place. Um, but there is some sort of offer towards the end of the week that I feel here you may be reluctant uh, to accept. I feel here, I'm not feeling like this is a financial offer. I feel like this is more of, um, you know, a situation where you may have had a conflict with someone. Um, so this is something more emotional is what I'm getting. And this might be what you're thinking about, this overthinking I'm seeing and holding back, not really uh, sharing a whole lot, especially emotionally here. All right, so let's... Um, start here so we talked about the nine of fire already 
you have here the messenger of water. So yeah, I do feel here there is going to be some messages coming through this week. All right. Okay, there is going to be some sort of, uh, I feel here, some sort of proposal, some um, act of kindness from somebody here. Can even be a romantic offer or gesture here. Like I said, I feel like you're, you're holding back a bit. Okay, maybe reluctant to receive this offer. I feel here... Um, I feel here you may be feeling a little bit intimidated by this person or vice versa. This person may be feeling a little bit intimidated by you. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, here we do. Here we go. <laughs> here we do. Here we go. We got the King of Earth here. Okay, yeah. So there is some sort of offer coming in here. And this can be financial here with the King of Earth. This is something very stable. Um... So this could be here what you're waiting for. All right. So, you know, there could be two situations here dealing with something uh, more of on the emotional, um, I don't know, I want to say platform here, but dealing with some emotions this week, maybe hearing from somebody um, that maybe you were holding back from, um, really you know up in your head about it and then i feel here there is something here financial there is some uh, offer here of stability now this can be an offer of stability for a relationship as well could be dealing with a capricorn taurus or a virgo and then look here you have the sun card All right beautiful energy here so this tells me uh, whatever this is this offer coming in here i am seeing like i said we had four uh fours here or three fours here so it tells me uh, this is going to be a week of feeling very stable and balanced okay and there's some good news coming in here with the sun card could be dealing with a leo as well all right we're going to clarify the cards we're going to use the uh, moon garden deck this is uh, a deck that i really like that I got when I was in New Orleans last year. All right. Okay, let's get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the emperor and the king of water here, please? Why is the emperor and the king of water here, please? Okay, we have the four of staffs. All right, so this is your energy here, um, Sagittarius, could be dealing with another Sag, a Leo, or an Aries. So I feel here this, this could be a situation here that you're dealing with, with family. This can also be about creating stability for your family here. Uh, I feel, like I said, I feel here you're kind of keeping your emotions under control here. Um, but I do feel here this is something... Um, here with the four of wands that's going to bring some happiness here okay this has to do with your happiness can be coming together in a relationship okay a family situation all right some of you may be uh, moving into a new home all right hearing from somebody from your family Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the nine of air and the four of earth here, please? Okay, we have the five of swords. Let's get another card. We have the king of cups. Yeah, I feel like there was some sort of situation here. I, I feel like two things. There's something here in the reading, you know, whether it's financial for you um, or not or if this has to do with a relationship with somebody. We have the Five of Swords and we have the King of Cups. I feel like there was some sort of conflict in the past with someone, okay, whether it was family, a friend, a lover. And I feel here, you know, this can be a situation where 
uh, someone was not expressing how they feel emotionally. Now I do see that in your energy, Sagittarius. I'm not sure here if it is you, could be your person. Remember roles can be reversed. And I feel like this is very much heavily on your mind here, okay? This is what you are up in your head about, okay? Because I feel here you may not be communicating how you feel about the situation, all right? And you're holding back at this time. Okay, so let's see here. Why is the uh, six of air here and the four of water? Why is the six of air here and the four of water? Okay, we have the two of staffs and the six of staffs. Okay. So as I said here, I feel like you may be reluctant to receive um, any offers. Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I feel like this is something emotional. So you are going to be hearing from somebody this week. I do see here, you know, with the two of staffs here, you're going to have to make some sort of decision here. Okay. I feel here, whenever I see the two of staffs, you can see this person is holding the world in their hands. I always feel here this is some sort of life-changing event here that is a really important decision that you're going to need to make here. And you have the six of staffs. So this tells me here that it is going to be a situation where you are going to have victory. There is going to be success here in this situation. Like I said, you do have the sun card. So that tells me that there is going to be happiness here. There is going to be balance here and stability is what I'm getting. So, you know, there is something you're going to have to make some sort of decision or some movement forward is what I'm getting here. All right, we're going to do uh, the possible outcome here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome here for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Let's get three cards. All right, we have the Ace of Water, Three of Water, Nine of Earth. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Look at it. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Six of Earth. Okay, your reading this week is all about balance and stability here. Uh, I feel here in the situation, uh, you may be holding back at this time, but I feel you're going to come to a place where this is going to be very equal give and take here. All right. Now, I did see here the King of Earth. Uh, so you could be receiving a sum of money. There, this can also be, uh, you know, someone helping you out financially. This can also be you being in a place where you can help somebody out financially as well. If it is not that and this is uh, love for you, I feel here things are going to come to a place that's much more balanced. I feel like you and this person are going to come to some sort of compromise here. All right. And then I'm getting here with a year from now. There is going to be something very significant in this situation a year from now. Now you have here the Ace of Water, the Three of Water. Okay, beautiful. This tells me there's something very, very uh, beautiful coming. Look at that big pearl here. This is an offer of love. All right. And then you have the Three of Cups and there's three pearls there. This is union. This is celebration. This is somebody offering their love, okay, unconditionally here. And then look here, you have the nine of earth. Beautiful energy there. This tells me this is going to be very stable. This is going to be grounded, all right? This tells me um, that also if this has to do with finances for you, I feel like you're going to come to a balanced place, feeling stable here, okay, and feeling good emotionally, all right, you may even receive some gift from someone here, I would see this card as the gift card, okay, all right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading, it's going to be a very balanced and stable week for you, I feel here more towards the end of the week, but beautiful, beautiful reading here for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.